first thing I have to mention is the language. This is my mother language called Hungarian. I hope it won't be a problem, so I will translate the necessary things. Let's put down the basics of this test. This is an all-wheel drive car, the GTR 34. It is a transmission test which should show differences between transmission types. For the test I will use an unofficial test track in Beaumont. It's about 700 meters long straight if I remember correctly. I would like to get results as constant experimental result. Now they're coming profilom means my profile. Beállítások means settings. Nehézség means difficulty. Sebességváltás means changing the gears. We changed it to automatic transmission type. For being constant I have to start from the same point with the same technique. The next video I would like to do as a tutorial is how to launch. Until then let's stay at full throttle. Somehow I should prove that if I do the same on the test track three times in a row I will get the same results. 204. Then I might change something to let myself know which direction I am facing. So the test will be about the difference between the three kind of transmission types in the game. I'm testing automatic transmission three times in a row and hoping I'll get near the same result. The first result was 204 km per hour. From standing position with a full throttle launch with automatic transmission I was able to reach 204 km per hour at the speed camera. The next result should be around 204 km per hour as well, or it should be a questionable thing that how constant this test is. So for the second round it looks like if I do the same thing I get the same result, twice. Will I get it three times? I would like to know. I would think it's a little bit more sure that this test can prove constant experimental result. Now let's reverse on the wall again and do it third time. If we will get the same result then we can agree that it's constant and I will change the transmission from automatic to manual. Then I will do the test again. If in a constant environment you change only one thing, then you can say that the reason of the difference is the thing you changed. After getting back on the wall, I will change the transmission. Because of the constant environment, if I will get a different result than 204 km per hour, then I could say that it's because of the transmission type. With automatic and manual, full throttle launch can be performed in standing position when you are using the brakes too, not just the throttle. And when you want to launch, just release the brakes and the car will start moving. This only works with automatic clutch. Manual clutch will be the last test. After launching I will have things to do, therefore I am not driving automatic anymore. I have to change gears. To get the nearest result in the experiment I did change gears near to the limit. Two hundred and nine kilometer per hour. Pretty big difference, if you know how much it means in driving. Not to mention that it's only about 700 meters. How many races just only 700 meters long? Except drag races of course. I hope you starting to get the idea. But to be sure about the result let's do it one more. Let's hope it will be 209 km per hour again. Then with manual you can be faster by 5 km per hour on around 700 straight than with automatic. Now it's time to be sure about the difference in transmission types. I'm trying to change gears the same way as I did before. 
The result will tell us if I was at least close to it or not. I do my best and I will decide even if there was a rev limiter from first gear to second. Almost the same. So the state is that with manual transmission you can be faster in the same environment than automatic. The environment includes the same car and the same track. To motivate people, I will show them an interesting result about learning something instead of using automatics. The manual transmission with manual clutch. Imagine after hours of training you will be faster just pushing an extra button with the usual ones. You will be that fast that others with faster cars might won't be able to catch you because you learned something in hours what they didn't. I do not want to vote in public which one is better. If you agree in constantness then you have to admit the reality of the differences. I think that's a thing that doesn't need commentary. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe on the channel to new ones. Thanks for your attention.